Hey, this is an old-fashioned plant, plant gang. This is uh, Spirea prunifolia, the bridal wreath Spirea, the bridal wreath Spirea. And we might as well show it to you what it's going to look like 51 and a half weeks out of the year, which is kind of a green, uh, naturalistic looking shrub. Uh, it does really explode in the spring for a short period of time. Uh, with long cascading bridal wreaths of flowers and when it is in full bloom it, it is a very nice plant and I've seen it used very effectively used on large hill banks uh, where when it's in bloom it is a showstopper uh, but this is uh, one of the spireas that is used all over the United States uh, because it is a consistent spring blooming performer uh, and it takes up a lot of space in a lot of cases uh, in particular in tough situations and a lot of times when we think about plants that can take tough situations we think about spirea. So again spirea prunifolia, bridal wreath spirea. This is a deciduous shrub hardy from zones five through eight. Can get between four and eight foot high spreading out four to eight foot wide. Uh, maybe a little bit different depending on exactly where you live in the country because this is used from the Great Plains all the way through the south uh, in a lot of different places uh, for kind of a utility shrub that can take a tough situation. It is known uh, to tolerate deer. I've not seen deer mess with this plant. Uh, maybe you have a different experience, but uh, sometimes it's listed as deer resistant. Uh, easily grown in average medium moisture well-drained soil, tolerates even some shade. Uh, and will still bloom with a little bit of shade, but of course will bloom the best when it is in full shade. Uh, prune as needed immediately after it's flowering. Sometimes it does get a little bit of a wild hair look to it, uh, and you can go in there and prune those off if you needed to, but that's recommended right after it blooms. So let's look a little bit close at the leaves again. Uh, you can see that they're alternately arranged uh, they're finely toothed, shiny dark green, about one and a half inches long, you know, in some cases. Uh, a little soft pubescence beneath the foliage, uh, that could be a good ID characteristic. Uh, but they are quite characteristic, in particular for spireas. So this plant is in the rosaceae family, and being such, it is susceptible to a lot of the same problems. Uh, that rosaceous plants are susceptible. And so that really leads to the landscape tip, and the landscape tip is particularly trouble-free, even though it is a part of the rosaceous family.